Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I looked up the mermaid gossip screen and found absolutely nothing regarding that medal that I got at 1-1 when I got the um, Cotties back by, uh, you know, to Herman. And <laughs> I don't know, that's when I got the medal is after I got the Cotties back, but it wasn't there when I re-entered the level and I don't know how the medals, I mean how you get the medals. <laughs> I guess it's when you do the side quest, that's my best guess, and, it's not, and it has nothing to do with anything else. But I couldn't find any information on that across the web, so if you got any info on that, I would like to hear it. Anyway, 1-5, secret one, let's get it started. The secret levels tend to be smaller in general than the larger levels, but that's not always a guarantee, though. It, it, the, the secret levels are like bonus levels for the completionist, so to speak. There's often a lot of pearls that you can collect in these levels as well, so you probably, like if you need pearls, you're probably better off going to uh, the secret levels for pearls, but really I don't think you need pearls that much in this game. I mean, if you're grinding for pearls to collect everything, yeah, you need a lot of pearls, but what I'm saying is that for, like, regular gameplay, you don't really need the pearls unless you're going for 100% completion via the uh, items and whatnot. Anyway, I'm just babbling up a storm here while I'm casually going through the level. That's basically what I'm doing here, and I really don't have all that much to say about this level other than that there's a lot of seaweed balls in this... <laughs> I, I guess that's the theme of the secret level, is seaweed balls, so to speak, and that you, you kind of have to figure your way through them. And I forgot to put Moe's sniffer back on the touchscreen. Okay, there's no um, treasure chest that I missed in that area. Good, good. I, I was a little worried that I missed something because I wasn't looking out for... Oh, there's a treasure chest. I was going to say looking out for where treasure chests might be. So, yeah. Uh, this leads... This leads where exactly? I forgot. Uh, it looked like Mo was getting excited, so up oh, there it is. That's what I thought. There's just so many winding paths to the path that it sometimes is a bit confusing to figure where you need to go, or say memorize where you need to go. Boy, that was scary! Man, I was just grabbed by that same giant squid. Oh, this is Herman. Dang it, I'm reading in the wrong voice. I thought it was done for, but then I pressed back and forth on the D-pad to wriggle out of his grasp just long enough to escape. I already kind of d d demonstrated that later on. I guess maybe they expected me to go to the secret levels after I unlocked them, like if... Because I, I could have gone to 1-5 before facing off against Big Squiddy, I think, so... <laughs> Yeah, uh, anyway, where do the paths meet up again? That is the question. I think this is where the paths meet up again. Yes, I just want to show all the different paths, if at all possible. It's not all that large of an area, as I said before, so why not? <laughs> uh, I think this is actually where the paths meet up now, because you either go up from... Yeah, there you go. That is indeed where it meets up, so I can go back the other way now. I just wanted to show you what you might have potentially missed, I guess you could say. Uh, this do, this sort of searching might be a little bit more difficult to do in later levels because of the way it's designed. And wait, am I going through...? Yeah, this is the, point, the way I want it to go, because that leads to a one-way path, because if you go try and go back through it this way, you're not going to do it. <laughs> Because the ball of fungus or seaweed, LJ, whatever the heck it is, it just blocks your path. And wait, isn't it just, just a pearl corner? Yeah, it's just a pearl corner. So many balls of goo. Urgh. Ah, this is really annoying to get through. Otherwise, uh, unless you go take that right path there. Because uh, you gotta manipul manipulate the balls. Urgh. Yep. Okay. 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 We are done with that area, and we're pretty much, or I should say, we're really close to the end of the level, too. Uh, oh, this for just two pearls? No, that's just gonna take way too long. <laughs> I mean, come on now, that's... We thought we need some flow here. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you can get those two pearls if you want to, but is it really cost-effective 
based off of the time that you use to get those pearls? I don't think so. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Mm, so many goo balls everywhere. Why is this place so infested? And this should be the end. Oh, it's not the end of the level just yet. Where? I thought this was the screen to the end of the level. Ah, I'm forgetting the levels entirely, and I just did. Oh, this is the end of the level. <laughs> I was right. I was gonna say I just did a practice playthrough on this, and I already forgot the levels. All right, one dash five is clear. And look at this. We can do more than one level in a part. Incredible. One dash six. Let's start secret two. And uh oh, it's Big Squiddy once again. I thought I destroyed you. Well, actually, maybe not, because this isn't in the timeline of level unlocking, I suppose. But then again, we didn't, like, completely kill off Big Squiddy, even in the boss battle. Whoopsie. Because, uh, um, you'll notice that he didn't, like, die, die off or anything like that, so it's not like uh, this isn't entirely possible. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess it, so it does make sense to an extent that he could be here looking for revenge, I suppose. Oh, yeah, there he is again. And a secret door! Oh no, I almost missed it! No, not really. <laughs> uh, by the way, you'll notice that these barricades here, you can't go through them this way, but you can go through them the other way. That's kind of the uh, way those things work. Don't forget about the treasure chest! Very, very important. Elite Puff Top Guard Journal. Guards log. Puff Top was attacked at 0900 hours by a group of unidentified enemies. Prince Starfy chased them off, but it's possible th that they may return. So we will remain on high alert. More as further events unfold. See, I think I am doing the levels in the right order because I got the first, the for, I mean the journals in order through here, and then this is the latest journal. So yeah, this does seem to be the intended level order of things. Anyway, moving on. Let's go. By the way, you can never get squished by those goo balls, in case you didn't realize that. Alright, and through the door we go, facing down Big Squiddy once again. And his tentacles of doom that really just give you a back massage at that. <laughs> you don't really do much of anything other than slow you down. Oops, wrong way, wrong current. Must pay more attention to the line direction. And there we go, we're done. Big Squiddy will never stand the chance. <laughs> Unless I'm messing around like I did in my first battle. <laughs> Alright, let's clear out this area. By the way, you'll notice that you can combo enemies, like if you defeat enemies quick enough, whoops, and the more enemies you defeat, the more pearls you get within that time frame. So like you've seen me get one pearl after three, and then it started giving me two, etc. until I get, yeah, you get what I'm saying here. And that's the end of the level already, wow. <laughs> I might finish all the secret uh, levels this part in uh, stage one. So, yeah, why not? I'm only at nine minutes or so in the part I think it's going to be, judging from, well, maybe not, maybe even a little less. So, secret three it is. Let's go, Bunston. Use your incredibly broken power in teamwork of destroying everything with just holding the Y button and moving forward. By the way, you can angle your head by pressing up and down on the D-pad in case you didn't realize that. Just thought I would make a mention of that. It's kind of helpful for... Uh, getting lower enemies like this. Take that, clams. No, not you, Mo. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shoot. I hope I didn't miss anything up there. I should say miss anything important up there. I don't think I did. But, uh, yeah, I might have jumped the gun there. Oh. oh, well, I guess. Oh, yeah. Waves of fire. Will doom my enemies. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, and as you can tell, when you burn stuff, you can sometimes find stuff behind it. The same with breaking down, like, uh, block walls and stuff like that as Starfy. Hello there, treasure chest. Nice to see you up there, hinting where you are. I will find a way to get you. As a matter of fact, I think... Ah! Ambush. <laughs> well, actually, not so much an ambush as it wasn't... It was As it was me not really paying that much attention. Uh, I think it's actually rel relatively easy to get this treasure chest in that there, it, there's like a path that leads to it, like directly. Alright, actually I think this is the path that leads to it directly. You just go up and over, and slide! Oops, I slid too early. 
press down while running forward like that, and you'll be able to slide underneath these little areas like that, and there you go. Yoo! I got Bunston's journal. Let's see what he has to say. It seems that I have the power to transform into things. I don't know where this power comes from. And when I'm with Starfy, the power is really strong. Maybe Starfy can help me master this power. Maybe. Maybe. I guess we'll find out through the course of the walkthrough. Anyway, more level to go here, so let's continue on. And kill off fish, because the wildlife is always in our way. It always seems to be like that in games. Ugh. I don't know why the wildlife has something against every hero imaginable in history, but it's just how things seem to go. Oh, new enemy! These are whamsters. They are pretty cowardly. <laughs> they're just there, and th I mean, there's some variations that seem to go after you, kind of, or maybe it just feels like that, I don't know, but they're basically flying hamsters. You know, there's flying squirrels, well, in this game there's flying hamsters. <laughs> Wait a second, what's... hold on... what's... is this just a... oh, I thought there was gonna be a door down here for some reason. Or I thought there was... I thought that I missed the door down there for some reason, I don't know why, but okay. Moving on. Next area, uh, I'm gonna go to the left first. Yeah, usually levels want you to go to the right, which is why I tend to go over to the left first for the sake of, you know, exploring everything. It's just a instinctual thing that I do as I play games now, because I know how uh, level des designers typically make their levels. It always se almost always seems to be left to right, it's not, it's not usually right to left. I mean, granted, the level design in Starfy does make you go left, I mean, right to left at times, like, say here, to explore other stuff, but still, the general flow is still um, left to right overall. Anything here? Oh, ooh, 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 Really good prize up there. Oh, this is hard to get out of here when you don't have an upgraded Starsman. Oh, 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 there we go. This is... A heart gem. Collect three of them to increase your life by one heart. They are similar to the heart pieces in the Zelda series. Get out of here, Bunston. I need Mo. <laughs> and with that, the level is now complete. Woo! And that also means I've 100 percent at World 1. So, let's take a look at it from the map. There we are. Stage 1 is clear. You can see that there are 13 chests left in Stage 2 there. And I'll show you the little transition screen over here between worlds, just for the sake of showing you stuff. And it takes you over to... like that. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here, and start World 2 in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then!